these are my pieces of fabric. There is the pelon to sturdy exterior fabric rectangle, interior rectangle. This is where the crayons will go. This is two pieces of uh, fabric separately, which will be the two storage areas for the coloring books. And this is the handle strip left over. So the first thing I'm doing is adding on my sticky, I guess, material. This is like paper, and it's sticky on one end. I'm going to iron it to the back of my interior fabric. Then I'm going to be able to peel off this paper, and it'll leave a layer of glue so that I can add my fabric stiffener onto the back side area so that it will be nice and stiff for this project. It looks pretty ugly, but it'll stick to the backing to stiffen the fabric. It's just these little things came out when I was ironing the ironing board, and I'm hoping they'll come So out. this is the finished product. There's the backing to stiffen the fabric, and there's my pink fabric. So the first step in this project is getting my pockets done. So what that means is that I am going to fold the top over and sew it straight all across on the top of all three pieces. And the bottom one, when I sew it on, I will fold it over but sew it onto the fabric itself. So for right now, just top one, two, and three. So I finished stitching the top of these sections. So this has been stitched. This will be stitched onto the fabric. This top is stitched right here. This top is stitched, but I needed these ends not folded over. I actually need them to be like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and iron that crease out. And I am going to now put my Velcro on this piece of fabric and my velcro up here. So I went ahead and sewed the velcro on both ends and now I'm just going to stitch these two layers all along this edge and I am going to stitch this one in place also. So I have done the velcro and I've stitched this into place, this one and this one. So that's what it looks like. Now what I have to do is do lines across like this for the crayons. So this is how it looks so far. I stitched the velcro, I sew these to the end, one, two. This one I have made stitches all along every two inches and the velcro. So now I have to make the handles. Now I have a, let's see, one, two, three, almost 3 inch by 19 inch long strip of fabric left and I'm going to sew it like so all along, turn it inside out and then top stitch all around to make the handles. So I went ahead and stitched it now I'm going to turn it inside out and then top stitch so again. So here is my handle and I top stitched all around so it looks like this then I went ahead and I sewed it on like so and I just made the distance the distance of the velcro and I stitched it on to the edge before I do my other side of fabric. So I'm going to do the same thing with this little piece but on this side. 
this is going to go like so and I'm just gonna stitch it like this so I sewed the two um, I guess the front sides facing each other you can tell that's the front so this is the back of the fabric and the back of the other part I'm just gonna clip all of the threads and cut the corners so that they will be nice and crisp at the ends and turn this inside out so I turned it inside out I still need to sew my uh, side but I am ironing the edges so that I can top stitch all around so I'm just going with the iron you can see it leaked a little bit of water on it so I've got to dry it out but I'm just going to iron the edges and I will top stitch all the way around so I went ahead and I top stitched all the way around my border one of the things that I was really scared of is that the coloring book would not fit but it did fit so that's something I am very happy about uh, this is the second pocket first pocket I made some animal shaped crayons which I did a tutorial of also so this is it this is uh, the finished product I think it came out awesome I would definitely use different thread colors if I did it again but other than that pretty pretty good present